In September of 2009, I took a trip to Salzburg, which is where these pieces were written. And I went to the Aula Academica at the University of Salzburg. And in the hall, there are these beautiful paintings of the mysteries. And I was near Salzburg, so I said, oh, I'll just, you know, go and see. I've heard about these paintings. Wouldn't it be nice to actually have a chance to see them? Um, since we, you know, Bieber may have been inspired by these paintings. When I got to the Aula Academica, I was lucky enough to be allowed into the hall. And I loved the paintings and I love them so much that they let me in the next day again and I brought my violin and I played through all the sonatas and I looked at all the paintings and as I was playing, I was sort of studying the paintings and thinking about the music. There's a philosophy in Ignatian spirituality that has to do with meditation um, that I found actually quite helpful when I was looking at these pieces myself. And they encourage you to really look at all the different aspects of, um, of the mysteries. So if I'm um, thinking about the crucifixion, if I'm gonna pray or meditate on the crucifixion, then not only do I think about how Jesus might have been feeling, but I think about who else was there was Mary there? How did she feel? Um, what did the sky look like? Was it cold? I use all of my senses, seeing, tasting, smelling, to really try to put myself in that environment and feel all the things and think about all the things that might have been going on. In fact, I love the painting so much that I made copies of the paintings and when we were recording the sonatas we had a little music stand and we had a little pre reproduction of each painting on the music stand every so for each sonata we would change the painting and think about the imagery and the story and what was happening in in the mystery before we started recording <laughs> <laughs> 